The story of the KH-35, Udan Missile in 2026, is a reminder of how older military technologies continue to evolve even as the world moves toward more digital, intelligent, and interconnected defense systems. Known for decades as one of the most reliable subsonic anti-ship missiles in its class, the KH-35 series now enters a new chapter marked by upgraded sensors, improved electronics, and enhanced integration within modern naval platforms. In today's video, we take a deep dive into how this 2026 upgrade has reshaped the missile's overall capability, why it matters, and what it means for the future of maritime defense strategies around the world. To understand where the 2026 version fits in, we first need to look back at the origins of the KH-35. Traditionally referred to as a lightweight, flexible anti-ship missile, it was designed to hit small and medium-sized vessels without requiring overly large launch platforms. This made it popular for coastal defense systems, patrol boats, corvettes, helicopters, and even aircraft. The missile found success because it was simple, scalable, affordable, and adaptable qualities that allowed it to remain relevant even as newer, faster, and more powerful systems entered service globally. By the early 2020s, the KH-35 had already received multiple evolutionary upgrades, especially in guidance, range, and resistance to electronic interference. Yet the 2026 modernization takes these improvements even further. Instead of a total reinvention, this year's upgrade focuses on smarter sensors, improved onboard computing, and smoother integration within modern battle networks. These developments reflect a global trend. Defense technologies are shifting from raw power toward intelligence, connectivity, and multi-platform coordination. One of the biggest highlights of the 2026 update is the emphasis on digital intelligence within the missile. S. Guidance. System. The previous versions relied on a mix of inertial navigation and active radar for terminal targeting. In the 2026 upgrade, the system receives improved processing capability that allows for more refined target discrimination in crowded maritime environments. The result is a missile that can better understand the environment around it, reducing the chances of confusion caused by decoys, clutter, or surface reflections. Another important improvement lies in the way the missile integrates with modern naval platforms. The 2026 variant is designed for smoother communication with advanced command systems used by coastal defense operators and ship crews. This allows for more flexible launch planning and improves the missile's ability to work within coordinated defense networks. In short, it becomes part of a broader information ecosystem rather than functioning as an isolated system. Mobility is another area where the KH-35 upgrade really matters because the missile can be fired from ships, trucks, helicopters, and aircraft. Its 2026 improvements apply across multiple domains. Navies operating older vessels can install the new system without needing major redesigns. Coastal defense units can carry the missile on mobile launchers for rapid deployment, and air forces using helicopters or maritime patrol aircraft gain a more modern and responsive strike option. This flexibility keeps the missile relevant, even as global naval fleets shift towards smaller, faster, and more modular vessels. Global interest in the KH-35 family comes from its cost-effectiveness and its suitability for countries that want to strengthen their maritime defense without relying on very expensive or technologically complex systems. The 2026 upgrade caters to this market by boosting performance while keeping operational costs manageable. This makes it appealing for smaller navies looking for practical solutions in contested maritime zones. Another important part of the story is how maritime defense strategies around the world have evolved. Today's naval environment is far more complex than it was when the earlier KH-35 versions were introduced. Swarms of drones, electronic warfare systems, radar jamming devices, advanced ship defenses, and AI-powered detection systems have become standard. The 2026 KH-35 upgrade acknowledges this shift by improving resilience against interference and enhancing the reliability of the missile, even in digitally contested waters. The missile remains subsonic meaning it does not rely on extreme speed to reach its target. Instead, its core strength lies in low-altitude, smart guidance, stable flight, and the element of unpredictability. 
These characteristics have always been at the heart of its design, and the 2026 upgrade reinforces them rather than changing the missile into something it was never intended to be, beyond the mechanics. The 2026 version reflects a broader lesson in military evolution. Not every system needs to be hypersonic or revolutionary to remain effective. Sometimes, incremental upgrades to proven platforms deliver the greatest value by revisiting the missile's electronics, sensors, and digital infrastructure. The 2026 modernization ensures that the KH-35 retains a practical role for years to come, even as naval warfare becomes more complex. The economic dimension also plays a big role. Many countries operate on limited budgets, but face growing maritime security challenges. The ability to upgrade existing missile systems instead of purchasing expensive new ones is a major advantage. It allows operators to extend the life of their current fleets while still benefiting from modern advancements in digital warfare and sensing technologies. From a broader perspective, the 2026 KH-35 upgrade highlights an ongoing competition among nations to secure their coastlines and territorial waters. As geopolitical tensions rise in various regions, navies seek effective, dependable, and accessible ways to protect sea routes, ports, and coastal infrastructure. The KH he 35s Modernization speaks directly to these needs, without requiring the high cost or infrastructure associated with larger missile systems. Looking ahead, many analysts believe the KH-35 platform will continue to receive software-driven updates in the coming years, especially as artificial intelligence, sensor fushan, and autonomous warfare technologies expand. Because of its modular design and digital-centric upgrades, the missile can adapt to these developments more easily than many other systems in its class. In conclusion, the 2026 KH-35. Urine modernization represents a significant step in the evolution of a long-standing and widely used missile family. The update doesn't chase extremes, it focuses instead on reliability, intelligence, adaptability, and integration. These qualities ensure that the missile remains relevant in modern naval environments and continues to serve as a dependable maritime defense option. As we move further into an era where information and digital warfare shape the battlefield more than ever before, systems like the 2026 KH-35 prove that smart, balanced upgrades can keep established technologies at the forefront of global defense strategies. If you enjoy deep dive content like this and want breakdowns of more upgraded maritime systems, aviation technologies, and future-focused innovations. Be sure to check out our other videos and stay tuned for what is it coming next.